When it comes to determining how many calories you should actually be consuming, there isn't really a right or wrong way to determine that. And in fact, 99% of the population will never know exactly how many calories they need to consume in order to start losing weight. Now, the simple answer is to just not eat. The other day I was chatting with one of our clients and she was asking me how many calories should she be consuming right now? Now I know this woman because of the fact that I've done a couple belly burns with her and she was thinking that she, her average caloric burn according to her watch per day is around 23 to 2800 calories. But I personally know how many times she works out, I know what she does for a job and I can assume how many calories that she's actually burning based on the activity she's doing and the type of work that she does, that it's not anywhere from 22 to 2,500 calories. So normally you think, okay, well, if I'm burning 22 to 2,500 calories on my watch, then I should be eating around 2,000 calories a day in order for me to lose a little bit of weight. Now that method will probably work, but if you wanna see bigger and better results faster, that number might be too high. So the first question I wanna ask you is how active are you? Because sometimes these watches, especially if you have an outdated watch, I find that the sensors become desensitized or they don't have the most advanced technology. Because this watch that I have right now is the newest Garmin. And this newest Garmin compared to my old Garmin, the technology has completely changed. Whereas in my old Garmin, I was burning way less calories and I was always wondering, why am I losing weight? When I'm matching it to my fitness pal and I'm eating more calories than what my watch is saying I'm burning, why am I still losing weight? Now, when I use this watch, it's way more advanced. It's actually picking up my heart rate when it should be and it's telling me the appropriate amount of calories that I'm burning. Is that a completely accurate? Probably not, but is it better than my old Garmin? Yes, how do I know it? Because my weight has stabilized. So the first question I would ask you, remove the watch from the factor and I wanna know how active are you in a day? So if you're a person that just does maybe one workout and then you work a desk job and you're barely getting 10,000 steps, I would say that you're not that active. I would say that yes, you're active more so than most people, but you're still not as active as maybe what your watch is telling you. The second thing I would ask you is how much fat storage do you have? So if you were to look at yourself and you look at your body and you've got like handfuls of fat, well then there's a good chance that you can use your body fat as fuel. Mentally, can you do it? I don't know, that just depends on you and what you're conditioned to do. But if you've got the body fat, then you've got the stored calories that will keep you fed even when you put yourself in a caloric deficit. The third question I would ask you is, are you gaining fat or are you losing right now? So have you been in a cycle of gaining weight? If you've been in a cycle of gaining weight, guess what? you're probably in a caloric surplus. Meaning, if it's August and you're starting a belly burn in September, and all the months of June, July, August, you've been slowly creeping up in weight, even if it's only five to 10 pounds, that means that your body's in a caloric storage mode, that you're over consuming calories, and it's, you know, you can be okay in a caloric deficit, because why? You've been gaining weight. And if you've been gaining weight, well then you've been harvesting and you've been storing and it's time to use that harvest and that storing. That leads me to the fourth thing where are you used to being in a low caloric deficit? This is one of the questions that I ask any one of my new belly burners is that what is the lowest amount of calories that you've ever eaten? And then I ask, well, do you know roughly how much calories you're eating right now? And a lot of people that aren't conditioned can't go into a caloric deficit right away. But the people that are conditioned and the people that have worked with me in the past for belly burns, we can go a little bit more aggressive with the caloric deficit. Today I was talking to one of our clients and he's got a big trip three weeks into the belly burn so he's not gonna be able to finish the fourth week. And I said, well, do you wanna go a little bit more aggressive so that we can start in a bigger caloric deficit with him? And he said, yeah, no problem coach, because of the fact that he's been consistent up until this point and he's gonna be consistent going into the belly burn. And so right away, mentally, he's able to go into this caloric deficit because physically, he's got enough body fat to keep him fed when the calories are low consuming internally and he's just gonna be able to use his body fat as calories. And then the last thing is I wanna know what is your deadline? So if you're like, okay, coach, I wanna lose 10 to 15 pounds this entire year, well then we don't need to go into a massive caloric deficit right away. In fact, I would put you in a very minor caloric deficit and make very minor 
calorie changes as we go throughout the weeks. So if you're like, coach, I'm going to work with you all of the new year. I'm going to do all the three or four belly burns that you have in the new year. My focus is to be down 10 pounds by the summer. Then I don't need to do anything crazy with you. But if you're like, coach, I'm getting married in four weeks. I need to be as trim as I can for this wedding dress. We're going to do things a lot different. So when it comes to determining how many calories you should be starting off with, well, now you have the five questions that you need to ask yourself. And it seems like a lot and it seems confusing. Honestly, if you need a coach, www.fitclub.fit, hit the get started button. If you're a member and you're watching this, then make sure that you're getting into the next belly burn so that the coach can guide you. Ask yourself how active you are. How much fat do you have to store? Are you gaining or losing right now? Are you familiar with going low calories because you need a strong mindset for that? And what is your ultimate deadline? Now what I've done special for you since you've stuck around right to the end is that if you're looking for a three day meal plan, in the description I put a link, all you gotta do is click it, enter your email address, and I'll fire right over to you. We'll see you on the next video.